723 on your Wednesday morning. Beautiful shot at Billy Bishop there. Good morning, Toronto. You're watching Breakfast Television. Sid Sixero is still enjoying some time off. You got Tracy Moore, Devo Brown, and Meredith Shaw with you this morning. And we're getting into something that I think will cause a lot of conversation. I think it has caused mm -hmm. a lot of conversation mm -hmm. leading up to this point. And I think we feel quite personal about it because it's right behind us. Yeah. <laughs> it's our backyard. It yeah. is. Here at Breakfast Television. So uh, to catch you up, Toronto has decommissioned Young and Dundas Square signage earlier this month. So if you've been to the square recently, you won't see that up anymore. Now, Sankofa Square signage will be coming by, they say, the end of the year. This is a renaming, and this is something that I think we've seen quite a bit in Toronto uh, as of late. Here are the costs, though, for this renaming. The design, the fabrication, the installation of this new signage estimated between $105,000 and $200,000. And that's just for that. There are additional costs associated with it, including branding, programming, diversity, equity, inclusion initiatives. Those will range from $300,000 up to $600,000. And Dundas Square, in terms of history, was named after Henry Dundas, a Scottish politician who delayed the abolition of slavery in Britain by 15 years. So that's a little bit of the background to catch everybody up, where Mr. we're at. Mr. Dundas mm -hmm. should not have done that. I, I, hear, I hear a big sigh Come from on. Tracy Moore saying some, uh, some truths over there. What say you yeah. to this renaming? I understand this whole reclamation of and, and, and holding on to that power of naming. There is so much power in naming. Sankofa, did we decide we know what that means, right? It's a looking back. Yeah, it's a retrieving a good things from the past. Retrieve yeah. things of value from our knowledge of the past. Okay. Uh, from Ghana, the term is coming from, from right. the language there. Yes. So a couple Go of things to it. think about. Go back, <laughs> Go and, back get and get it. And, get and it. I, I do feel like there needs to be some going back and getting it and fixing wrongs uh, that have happened. However... We're in a time right now where we are in an economic crisis. People can't afford lettuce. And I'm wondering, should we be spending $300,000 on something that I feel, after everything we've seen with Black Lives Matter and a lot of the civil unrest that's been happening in this city and the country and globally, it feels performative. I am about substantive change. Like, you know, painting a street or renaming a square is one thing actually hiring people that are diverse, actually bringing the ladder down and, and bringing people up that do not have access to things, that is completely different to me. That is legislative, it is substantive, and it's not what you get from renaming a square. And I think it is easy to do performative things. Mm -hmm. Even when they cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, I think it is very difficult to overturn institutions that have been sort of racked with racism and sexism even to their core. And I feel like that's where we need to spend our energy. And do you think that overturning Devo does begin with a name? I don't know if it, it I mean, it's so tough. With this, you know, the naming thing, Mr. Dundas obviously did terrible things and it needs to be changed, but it's gonna be another generation or two before it gets called Sankofa Square oh, by yeah. the everyday person. Because we know that, and we'll probably even slip, but it's done that square. Because that's what it is to everybody for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, how many times did somebody actually notice the sign up there? You know, when we're coming in. If you want to spend $200,000 just to put the sign up there now, I get it. You want to make a change. It is performative to me a little more in that sense. Uh, I don't know. We got a live shot right there. Look, let's be real about what's happening in this city. You know, Trace, you said it about the crisis, but we have a homelessness crisis in this city, mm -hmm. and a lot of that congregates in that square. Mm -hmm. So let's think about spending that money on the people that are there that need help mm -hmm. or what we can do to kind of make that a space for people to occupy to, in the sense of, like, during the day we can come there. Tourism can be there. Let's worry about that than the sign. Get to the sign later. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, let's just take care of the people first. That's yeah. my thoughts on I it. feel like the one, the one thing we can take note from uh, in this in particular is how quickly this, the city moved to make this happen. Real fast. Of, of all the things, yeah. All the things. Of We're all moving the things quick to move on this. quickly. On. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no discussion. Can we like, get some affordable housing? No, yeah. this one went right through. No, there's some speed. So <laughs> we see your speed, Toronto. Yeah. And uh, we raise you a few other issues. Uh, but it's definitely something that everybody's talking about because this is not the first renaming and certainly won't be the last. But yeah, we have to think about where those city dollars are sent. Mm -hmm. uh, 727 on Breakfast Television.